don't understand our struggle. Instead they mock us with these silly cartoons. Cats have feelings too. They, they just won't ever understand. <laughs> Yo, he is tripping. It didn't stop him from swallowing Malcolm in one bite, right? Right, like get over yourself. Oh, so you got something to say? Uh -oh. uh, welcome to Tabletop Island. I'm Bernardo, your host, and today we're going to be talking about the board game. Chop Chop by Dejeco. This game is a really unique, newer kids game. So it is a cat and mouse game. I feel like even the theme describes the game extremely well. So there are two sets of players. There are the team that play the mice. You can have up to four. And then you have the cat player, which only one player will be the cat. What you're doing, you are rolling dice and you are moving through. The cat has their own dice, the mice have their own, and as you land on certain tiles, they will reveal things that happen to you, which can be quite unfortunate. In fact, when I was playing as the mouse um, with the team, uh, the cat had a lot of really lucky things that happened. Let me explain here. So the first is an arrow. The arrow allows you to go to any spot on the board. Guess what? If you're a cat, your only goal is to eat the other mice. If you're a mouse, your only goal is to get all 10 cheeses. So by saying that, the cat getting the arrow means he goes right to the mouse and eats him. And that's not a lot of fun, especially when they get two back to back. And you're like, whoa, this is getting a little crazy. But it is still a really well balanced game and it is extremely fun. Honestly, the components, let's talk about those first. They are freaking amazing. Look at the table, you screw onto the legs. It is a really solid piece of work here. The board is really nicely laid out. It is a really heavy stock um, of cardboard that folds really nicely. The little holes have those slots just for the table to kind of fit snugly onto the board there for us. And the pieces, they are almost like a rubber silicone, not even like a hard plastic. It's really nice and a really big change in texture with a lot of the other games I'm used to and I'm sure a lot of you guys are used to also. Now, outside of just the game pieces, the tiles, really nice wood too, but you are moving through and as you're revealing tiles, they're doing a few different things. Obviously, if you get the cheese as the mouse, then you add it to your stash to hopefully get to 10. If it is a cat, it stays there and they can no longer go back onto that spot once they move off of it initially. As the cat player, as you start to reveal cheeses, you can kind of force the mice to have to go there and set up traps to try to get them later. That can sometimes work and sometimes be rather annoying, but again, the dice and the amount of movement each character can get really balances and levels out the game rather well. You can also reveal an icon such as a fork icon, and if you're a mouse, you get to poke that cheese from across the board and you are extremely lucky. And that's how you get around the cat. Now you can also go to your safe spots which are under the table. The cat cannot go under the table and you can go back to your whole spot once you move out of it initially. The cat can't go there either, obviously he can't fit in that little hole. The cat can go on top of the table and the mice cannot. But honestly, the game is really straightforward. If you're interested in knowing all of the iconography, I definitely recommend checking out the game, uh, maybe even going online to view the instructions to get a better idea as to how the game plays. I think it's a fantastic kids game and it is a rather new game. If you are interested in where to buy it, I'll leave a link in the description to your Amazon Prime needs. I will admit it is on the pricier side. It is roughly $40 and I know that is a bit high. Um, um, in terms of the type of game it is, especially for a kids game, but the quality really lives up to the expectation of that price, and I completely understand it. So if this does seem like the game for you, I highly recommend it. I wouldn't be reviewing it if I didn't think so, at least I hope I wouldn't, but the game itself plays extremely smoothly, easy to teach, fun for the whole family, and it looks amazing on the table, as you can tell from these fantastic components. But that is honestly all I have for you guys today. If you are interested in notifications, there is a bell up there somewhere. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate any feedback. I'm trying to make these videos more and more outrageous, and with your guys' help, I have been doing so. 
Monday, regular board game reviews. Wednesday, weekly updates slash talks. And then on Fridays, my vintage board game reviews. That is all I have for you guys today. I will see you guys next time.